Hi guys, how it's going? Thanks for having tuned in again on this video. It's the third video of my series and I'm very excited because today we are going to paint this ship which I built in the last two episodes. Check this out. And I'm going to paint it with Ferrari Red. Let's see. Now the color is dry and it looks really good. Damn. Red like a Ferrari. And it's even reflecting the light very good, so it seems yeah, like some glass fiber or carbon fiber. Now we have to mount the rudder onto the boat. I've made a little hole to put the rudder inside. But we have an issue, when there is some force the water will fall out. So, I made this little thing, it's taped so it slides better. And then I can put this into the rudder and then I'm going to glue this on. And then the rudder cannot get out because there is this little thing. And here you can move it. So you can move your rudder. Now to the next point, it's still pretty wobbly. You see? And for that I took another plate, which I will glue on later on. It's still wobbly, but when it's glued, it's holding pretty stiff. Now I made sure that this can also be under this cover. And yeah, it has space. So it's good. Now the plate is glued on and the rudder is really stiff. If you look up here, the two plates hold the rudder and it's just the, the stick that bends under the forces because it's very weak. But it's good. And for that also very important, this stick is so weak I think it can easily break during the transport. So use some foam case or like this. So it uh, gets not damaged during the transport to the lake, to your home or wherever you go. Because this really is fragile. Next we have to do is the sails. We take our carbon fiber mast. And then for the sails we take some nylon plastic. sheets then I cut out the shapes of the sails and now it looks like this next we have to make these two holders here and for that I use some wood two straight pieces of wood and finally we have to make this guy here which has to hook up the sails and for that I also took a piece of wood. Now paint the three parts, wooden parts black and then we have to hook up the sails. Now I paint the pieces and it looks like this. And now we have to hook up the sails. Now to hook them up you will probably do a hole into the plastic and take a thread but when you apply some force the plastic will break. So I took a piece of wood and I glued it on so it reinforces the nylon sheet and so it doesn't break. Next the sail has to do this movement 
and for that it has to move here like a cardigan so I made this, I took a piece of tape and I made it like here just the diameter of the carbon fiber boom so it fits easily inside and it can turn easily just like this now like you see to make the pieces of wood better to see and to make it more robust I took a piece of electro tape and I taped the the ends of the sails where there are other pieces of wood next I took some of this wire and I wind it around this piece of wood and I glued it with some waterproof glue now we can hook up the sails here there is this wire and it is holding pretty much and here there is the wooden thing and the tape and so it's very resistant and it it holds very good and now let's hook up all the sails now the sails are finished and on their place here I made this wooden thing so the wire goes from here to here I fixed the sail up here and down here and I mean I did it like this for the uh, fixing of the sails but you can do like you want it just has to do this movement like very easily but you can do how you want you can do it with some tape with some cords or maybe I don't know you have your own technique so now we are on the end of episode 4 and we have pretty much finished the whole boat we have almost made the three main components of the boat which are the keel and the water then the hull, which took us the most work and time. And then we have the motor, let's say, of the boat, which is the sails. So now to finish it off, let's see how much we've spent for the whole build. So next time we are going to yeah, finish the keel and to install the electronics so the uh, rudder and the sails can move and the boat is finished then. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If yeah then, then it would be great if you subscribe so you see all of my videos, the last video of this boat or some other RC videos, maybe planes, drones or multicopters, GoPro videos, and yeah, so see you next time, bye!